What is going on guys, Bloody Nose here, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 3 of Hogwarts Legacy. If you missed the last one, as always, it is linked on the top right of the channel right now. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Uh, real quick summary of what happened, we finished our courses and now we are on our way to our next quest. Oh, what is? Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Oh you my goodness! Bowl? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boys' lavatory. Not for the meek. These peas will make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confined me inside of a jar. <laughs> He's getting bullied. Revelio. So many little things you have to discover. It's just wow. What is this? Accio didn't do anything. Nope. Lumos. Nope. Revelio. All right. I hit it with all three of the spells that I know. Nothing opened it except Revelio. So. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Can I help you? Yep. Let's fight. <laughs> Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. Bring it on, I'm ready. To live I'm ready to give him thy work. Ooh, a prize. Ooh, a prize too? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Wands, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! I'm about to wreck this guy with three moves. Oh, it's two on we'll two? will make you regret signing up. All right, little... Little a-holes. Break through the yellow shields with control spells like... Levitation spell to be also target lock R3, blah 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 blah. I think I know what I'm doing. Ooh. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, what happened to my wand? It broke! There she goes. Oh, she levitated me! Why am I next to her trying to fight her? There we go. Beat her. Got him. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, no, he's not. He's dead. Most fast <laughs> travel points are very convenient. There's another one up there I should probably unlock. Oh, well. Just so much to do, and it's like I don't know if like all these little things I should do them while I'm recording or just go off on my own and kind of explore off camera. Um, let me let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys like seeing the uh, videos with everything in it, just me kind of wandering around, or are you guys more of the like cut to the story type of type of deal? Oh, another kitty. Hello, white kitty. Is it snowing outside? Oh no, it's raining. Raindrops keep falling Revenue. on my head. Something here. There it is. I learned that from watching my videos. Every time I hear a thing, there's a something. Just 
collecting every little thing I could find. Did the cat die? Are you dead? Nope, nope, still alive. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. Jeez. Alright, me, Professor Weasley, in the Transfiguration classroom. I am on my way. What Here about we go. The room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Yes, here I am. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure More I have work? time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Ooh, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. I'm going yeah, with the girl. Choice. The girl that I was playing the... Talented students. And she knows the area. The ball She'll game with. <laughs> well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Mmm, butterbeer. Alright, report to Professor Ronan. And here we go. Yes. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. Ooh, Reparo. The charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right. Collect the flying page near the broken statue. This? Got it. Ooh. That is pretty, pretty cool. All right, here we go. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. Reparo. Wind it up, wind it up, wind it up. Reparo. Reparo. How does it go? Reparo? That's it, Reparo. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It 
allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. And we're off on our adventure. Wow. Again, wow. I follow was glad Nanny to Hogsmeade. She asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbeer in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I apologize if I'm not talking during this, but I mean, look oh, at that. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air. Does it get any better? Cooped up in ancient rooms. Wow. <laughs> to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Rebellion. Accurate. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone is coming to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Yep, oh, it's very cold. I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. Oh man, this I map is huge. Flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Hello, fellow Gryffindorians. Look, oh, those gunshots. The forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Wow, I want a hippogriff. When can I get a hippogriff? Wow, look at this. Hang on, thumbnail. That is absolutely stunning. France Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I see hogs meet in the distance. We're almost there. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor I might mentioned actually end up doing that a little bit off camera. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. I want to go down there to that little house. Man. So many things I want to do. Settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too, and getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Revelio. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't abandon you. I'm coming back. <laughs> Don't punish me. It's a freaking countdown timer just started, man. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Huh? Sounds a little drunk. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. Rebellion. Very to see outside of the I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Even being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a collected family. moonstone. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Hogs mead. Wow. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogs Mead. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. All right, sounds good. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Let me, uh, see what my map has. Wow, it has, it, it really is anything. All right, so here's the, I'm guessing the bouncy things are the ones that I need. What is this? A joke shop? The three broomsticks? So I want to go here to the wand shop. I'll be right with Later. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, hello, sir. <laughs> I'm looking well. for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Ten and a half inches? Oh, I do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, 
This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Natural gray cypress dragon heart string unyielding and it's ten inches long. <laughs> oh, we could uh curious indeed. Change what it looks like? Ooh. With a strong what do you think? It's perfect. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thank you much. All right. Let's uh spin the globe here. Hmm. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Oh, I have to buy them. Oh, they, they're free. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, I can't afford anything else. Alright, visit J. Pippin's Potions. <laughs> what kind of sounds were those? <laughs> Another kitty. It's mandatory to stop and pet all the kitties. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well... Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, 
You'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? I but will now, definitely... Let's those recipes, shall we? All right, so being that I am a broke boy, I will take the free ones. How you doing? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. I'm feeling it's a bit overwhelmed, to be I'm honest with you. To see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. I am, actually, and I have a list with me. It is free. Thank you. Do have a look around. Plenty I, I'm, of ingredients to I'm unfortunately what's what's known as a broke boy, so I, I can't afford anything, sorry. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Alright, back to Natty I go. Found a kitty. Wonder if there's a special trophy or easter egg or something if I pet all the kitties. I am here. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh, what is that? Uh oh. Oh my. Oh my god. Draw it away from the building. Away from the building. Oh no, he's gonna destroy Hogsmeade. Should we Oh no, there's not just one dodge this is not good take that take that whoa 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 Take that. Lumos. Oh, not Loomis. Pull Loomis away. Take that. Whoa, he's chasing me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. We got the troll with the ancient magic. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. 
Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Oh, we can of finally course, use it. Singer. Officer Singer. And we can finally again. use the new move we learned. Repair the damage. Repair it. Oh, right here. Repair. Nice. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you. I actually Sarah. appreciate That's it. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Your current defense and offense are displayed on the top right of the screen. Oh, wow, zero and zero. Nice. It's this one? Cool. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. No, oh, who's that? Oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Are... Oh. oh. Them. How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. 
Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophanes. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Alright guys, we will head back to the castle in the next video. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon. Deuces.